All right, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan and you are watching my wedding series. So excited to be making this video all about my wedding saving ideas that some I've already started doing and some I have in mind for how I wanna make things cheaper and more reasonable when I get to my wedding, especially as you saw in my wedding venue cost video that we obviously chose one of the more expensive ones, but I think the memories we're gonna have for the five days that we can be there are going to be so important and wonderful and I honestly can't wait. So we're gonna find other money saving ideas in order to kind of balance out that cost. So I hope you guys enjoy and I can't wait for you to hear my four money saving ideas that I have so far. All right, the first money saving idea that I have and already have done is printing some cards on Shutterfly. I used the um, Black Friday deals that they had during that time to make these at a very reasonable cost. We have a smaller wedding as well, so we didn't have to buy as many cards, but basically what I'm doing for this one is I am using my save the date as an invitation. I know that sounds crazy. No, I'm just kidding. It doesn't sound crazy, especially with lots of things being online now. There's so many ways that making it online is so much better and I'm honestly really excited about it. Um, mostly we wanted to just save money and time and not having to put together invitations and stamp them and mail them and everything like that. We're actually going to give out most of these save the dates in person other than family members that we don't see or like um, live close enough to to hand deliver it to them. So. We're also going to let them know that they can use these cards as their RSVP. There is a little link here. I'm not gonna share it for personal um, privacy reasons, but they can go to our website on The Knot and RSVP, putting in their name, their date's name, or whatever the other family member's name, and then making their meal choice. So that's really nice too, because it goes straight into the system and I don't have to individually go through each card and see what people chose as their meal. It just gets put on there and I don't have to do any of that hard work myself. The second thing that I'm going to be doing is making my own bridesmaids gifts. Now I looked all over Amazon and Etsy and basically just got different ideas that I loved and I am finding cheaper alternatives slash my fiance's mom has a machine that can personalize these items so i'm just going out and buying cheaper versions and then we're going to personalize them so that it's a lot more special so right now i just bought some cheap bags and we're just gonna put like team bride or like i do crew on them and that's gonna be what we give to people you can even use the extra bags as like gift bags or whatever and then I did some personalized mugs that I'm going to give to my bridesman and my maid of honor. And those are going to be personalized things because with the bridesman, it's, it doesn't make sense to give him a bunch of girly things. But that's going to be kind of his gift in place of this other thing that I'm going to get. And that is a little jewelry holder and we're gonna put the initial of each person on there. And I'm really excited because they're super cute, but they were so affordable and we're gonna personalize them. So I'm really excited. And then I'm going to buy a little bottle or a mini bottle of wine. And I think we're going to try to put a label on it, just using like a sticker and editing software to make a cute thing that says like, just will you be my bridesmaid. And I'm thinking about something else, but I think I'm gonna do little hair ties. There's some really cheap ones on Amazon. Obviously I can't really, like probably, maybe, could make hair ties on my own, but I'm not gonna try to do that. Anyways, let's get into the third thing. Um, this is just kind of a future idea that I have in mind, 
but basically when I get to my dress I plan to buy it from a bridal consignment shop rather than those big bridal box stores. I still want to go to those to get the experience of it and going with my bridesmaids and other important people and having them join in on that experience but I think overall I'd like to go to the bridal consignment shops and find an amazing alternative for the one that I find at those bigger box stores and I'm honestly not that concerned about it. I'm actually pretty excited to find an, an affordable version of the dress that I really want. The fourth slash kind of fifth item is that we are going to save money on a photographer and videographer. So basically with the photographer, I'm just going to ask a friend, actually the person who did our impromptu um, engagement photos. We never actually did engagement photos, but um, this guy took really awesome ones. He's not a photographer like at least not a professional photographer, but he took some really great photos and I think he can do an awesome job at our wedding as well. And basically I'm just gonna scour the internet and Pinterest and all those places and just get a bunch of examples of what I want him to take a picture of and just say, get this for us and maybe look at his camera afterwards to make sure he got the kind of shot that I would really, really want. And then with the videography, I'm not going to hire anybody. I'm instead going to save that money to buy a nicer camera and use that to set a bunch of different things around to capture that moment from different angles. And I like editing, I like video stuff, and who wouldn't love watching their video back a bunch of times? So I'm just going to set a bunch of different ones around and um, get my friends or bridesmaids or family to help out and again just be like hey can you make sure to capture um, us walking down the aisle or our first dance or whatever and um, getting all those special little moments and just compiling them in a video so those were kind of the ideas that I have in mind some I'm already doing some are just kind of thoughts right now I still have plenty of time to make changes or make other decisions so yeah, I hope this helped you guys and I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.